Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. Weather Extreme Video for Saturday, April the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you from Chicago this morning where it's a bit cooler than it is in central Alabama. But let's get right to the Skycam imagery. It looks like we're going to have a beautiful weekend and there's the uh, look from Fayette looking off to the east-southeast and uh, just a beautiful sunrise. It looks like a little fog over there in the River Valley just to the east of Fayette. And looking out from Mount Chiha off to the south. We can see a few high clouds there, but there are clouds across the southern part of the state, uh, and uh, we can see that in the overall uh, surface map this morning. But uh, most of those clouds are along this, uh, kind of along and uh, south of the Montgomery area. Um, we're uh, dealing primarily with high pressure at the surface and uh, loft. We're dealing with uh, the eastern side of a ridge, which is putting us in northwesterly flow, which is keeping things a bit cool for this time of year, but that's all right. We can enjoy these cool mornings as we see temperatures warming up nicely for most days. Speaking of temperatures, uh, if you kind of uh, been following the 32-degree isotherm across uh, the United States, you know, it's been pretty far south, but uh, today, look how far north that red line is, kind of kind of following the uh, U.S.-Canadian border, not exactly, but pretty close, with a lot of 50s and 60s across the southeastern U.S. In central Alabama, we're dealing primarily with the 40s, although a few spots like uh, uh, Anniston and a uh, few uh, Huntsville have gotten down to uh, very close to 40, a few spots down around the upper 30s, especially those cooler valleys. We are still dealing with a, a bit of a boundary in the south part of the state, and that is responsible for a few showers even this morning, but uh, again, primarily south of the Montgomery area. On the Storm Prediction Center's outlook, it uh, looks like for day three, uh, and that would be um, Monday into Tuesday, uh, there's a slight risk all the way from centered uh, on a line pretty much from New Orleans all the way up to uh, the uh, eastern Great Lakes, including a large part of Ohio, Indiana, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So uh, could be a bit of an active weather day across uh, the uh, U.S. QPF-wise, we're looking uh, with this next frontal system, which is expected to come in Monday and Tuesday, uh, we're looking at the possibility of... Uh, Oh, I'd say for central Alabama, we're looking at the possibility of maybe three quarters to one and a half inches of rain for uh, most locations. All right, the 06 ZGFS model run this morning, and uh, that model run uh, showing uh, good weather for today as we look at the surface map here and uh, high pressure uh, centered over, oh, about uh, two below or so. In the upper atmosphere by Sunday, we're definitely under the ridge beautifully, so that should give us a, just an absolutely gorgeous day for uh, Sunday. But here comes our next system on Monday, and there's been some changes here. Uh, uh, I haven't been following the models very closely this week since I'm traveling a little bit, but uh, there have been some changes, and uh, this system not quite as strong, I guess, as it was uh, showing. But there is the next system coming in uh, Monday uh, just after noontime, and you can see that that means uh, the possibility of actually some severe weather uh, all the way from New Orleans all the way up to the eastern Great Lakes. And uh, that will move on by fairly quickly as, uh, as it traverses the upper flow very fast so that the trough ends up on the uh, east coast of the United States from the mid-Atlantic states all the way up into New England. And so that should clear us out fairly quickly on Tuesday. And I think we will see uh, a relatively good day with the rain and storms ending uh, first thing in the morning. We get under a ridge once again for Wednesday, and then that ridge more or less sticks with us on Thursday as we get into a southwesterly flow, which should warm us up nicely. But also, the southwesterly flow has a tendency to be rather moist. And so here we are Thursday. It looks like uh, I, don't, I think we'll stay dry on Thursday, but uh, by Friday we're definitely going to be getting into the possibility of some isolated uh, to scattered showers. The flow remains um, pretty much southwesterly as we see a ridge anchored over the eastern half of the country. And again, that uh, keeps us relatively dry, but with a southwesterly flow, we're going to see uh, good moisture and therefore the possibility of some showers. But again, I think um, at best scattered, at worst isolated.
that southwesterly flow stays with us as uh, the whole weather system seems to almost be in a state of, uh, of staticness that is uh, hardly much change at all. And so GFS continuing to show the possibility of some showers on Saturday, a week from today. Getting a little further out into voodoo country, uh, that system does finally move on out. So it looks like we get a wet day for sure around the uh, 11th. Now, remember, I'm using the word sure in voodoo country. So, but if this system progresses, as we're suggesting, it would be a wet day on Monday. Then uh, we get back under a ridge around the 14th, which would uh, turn our weather back around to uh, excellent. And then another system on the 16th. So we continue to show that continual um, train of systems one right after the other. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.